Hello, it's your boy Jalen, and you're watching Rum Time TV. Out to Chris um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk. And when he is, he will reach out. Um, so I will, I will say to you, um, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. Um, I, I want to apologize to Chris's mother. I saw an interview that Chris's mother did. And, you know, that was one of the things about that moment. I just didn't realize, and, you know, I wasn't thinking, but how many people got hurt in that moment. So I want to uh, apologize to Chris's mother. I want to apologize to uh, Chris's family, uh, specifically Tony Rock. You know, we had a great relationship. You know, Tony Rock was my man. Um, and uh, this, this, is, this is probably irreparable. Um, I spent the last three months um, replaying. I give Will Smith respect for apologizing because a lot of OGs hold that inside for years before they finally can let out an apology towards somebody that they actually care for and love or just an apology in general. Uh, it takes a real man to own up to his wrongs and to do it publicly too. That, that takes, it takes courage. The fact that it took you three months to understand and do this is why I have a problem with it because I understand you have anger and stuff and built up, but it shouldn't take long for you to be reaching out to Chris Rock and letting him know was letting him know that you was wrong. What it sounds like is you took three months to apologize to him. Now, I could be wrong. I would hope it didn't take you three months to apologize to him. We all have those moments to where we feel something uh, and we just want to lash out. Everybody knew that when Will Smith went up there and slapped Chris Rock, that it was an internal thing. It had nothing to do with Chris Rock. This was something that was deeper than that. But um, from what he said, he's saying that it, was, it wasn't Jada or anything that told him to do it. This was some personal shit between them two. I don't think that's the case. I think that this was definitely uh, some built up aggression that he had been going through with over the years. Chris Rogers had to be the person to be that outlet for him. And it's unfortunate because you burnt a bridge that now has to be rebuilt. And it's gonna take years before Chris Rock finally, well, you never know, it might take years. He could end up calling him soon after this, but you gotta give him as much space as he gave you to apologize because Chris Rock could have sued him. He didn't. This, these are two legends that we don't want to see beef and we didn't even know that we will ever see something like this. So I hope they end up becoming cool again, man, because this is, these are, like I said, two legends, man. And we don't need this for the black community. We need to have some legends, like some actual legends that's not just having a bad reputation and stuff like that because it's always something that happens with our legends to where their career gets tarnished in front of our faces. For the black community especially, we already know we don't have too many legends as there is. It's a generational breaking right here because like I said, not many OGs can confess to their wrongs and stuff. That's all I gotta say about it though. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.